Oftentimes I was waiting for the bus or when school got out, and there would be a lot of elementary kids, usually uh, kids of color, um, just being kids, being loud, being silly, um, you know, swearing, uh, just, you know, being unsupervised. And, um, you know, bus drivers would get off the bus and call the police, bus drivers would kick people off the bus, bus drivers would speak incredibly disrespectfully to these kids, and, you know, three, four, five cop cars would come on a weekly basis to the bus stop for 13-year-olds because they're acting out. And um, I'm from Oakland, California, which is a predominantly black city, um, and, but we do have a lot of racial issues where I'm from, and so I was kind of mapping those concerns onto what I was seeing at this bus stop, which is that young black um, kids, particularly young, young black males, are criminalized just for being kids, right? Whereas oftentimes white kids will do things and they won't get arrested, they won't get in trouble. Black kids will do the same thing and they'll be criminalized for it. And that's kind of what I was seeing in terms of police response. So for me, I felt like the community of Iowa City was writing who those kids were in a very specific way. They were telling those kids, you're criminals, you're loud, you're inappropriate, and that was how the community was representing those kids to, to themselves, right? And so the storytelling project for me was motivated by the fact that what would those kids say about themselves if they told their own story? If they represented themselves rather than being represented as criminals, as loud, as inappropriate, as problems, um, that's, I mean, that was my motivation.